So you're thinking about making a move here to Utah, but you're kind of still on the fence. You've been writing out your pros and cons list of what are some things that you really like? What are some maybe things that you don't like? Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things of things that you may want to avoid moving here to Utah because of these different things. It may be a, a deal breaker for you. And I want you to know these things before you think about making a move or relocating here to Utah. And let's hop into it right now. Mariah Curla here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your very first time here. I'm a licensed and active real estate agent here in Utah and this channel is literally everything you need to know about eating, working, playing, sleeping, and living in Utah. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below and make sure you tap that bell for notifications so you are notified every week we drop a new video. We hear from people like you all the time who are looking to make a move, who are looking to relocate, buy or sell a property here in Utah, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move in a week, in a month, or even a year from now, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and my team and I would absolutely love to help you out. Also, if you are thinking about moving here, we have a free Moving to Salt Lake City, Utah guide. Comment down below the word guide, G-U-I-D-E, and we will send over that free copy of that guide to you. So let's hop right into some of the disadvantages of living right here in Utah. And it wasn't that long ago before my family and I, we were in your exact same position. We were on the fence. We were living in sunny San Diego. And everybody says, why would you move from San Diego, right? What would make Utah a better fit for you than San Diego? So we're going to hop right into it because honestly, this was, <laughs> we had a big list of pros and cons and all those different things. And I really do think you, there's so many great things about Utah, but there are also some disadvantages and things that you really should know before you take the leap and just kind of know these things. So number one is the weather there can be extreme weather. It can get very, very windy here. And I actually did not know that. I didn't know how windy it actually gets in Utah, especially when a storm is blowing through, you're going to have gusts, big, you know, heavy, heavy gusts of wind that will come. I mean, we have garbage cans that'll be, you know, in our neighbor's yard just because they, you know, the gusts of wind get, you know, kind of crazy. Number two, this goes along with extreme uh, weather as well. And this one is the four seasons. Some people love the four seasons and some people are like, Oh, you know what? I actually really, you know, I want to be done shoveling snow. Right. But there are the four seasons. So you are going to have a lovely, lovely fall here. I always say that fall is never as long as I'd like it to be. You're going to have a nice crisp spring and many people love spring skiing here. You are going to have a warm summer. Typically, Typically, it's going to be pretty warm where you're going to have days in the 90s, even it will get to 100, but then it generally cools down at night. Winters are going to be cold, but a lot of times you are going to have very sunny days in the winter. So just know that, you know, you will experience the four seasons living here in Utah. Number three, this kind of goes along with weather as well. When we're talking about in Salt Lake, it is in a valley you will there again, it depends on the year. It depends on the season, all of that, but we get what's called the inversion. And it's a thick smoggy air that comes in and sits right in the Salt Lake Valley. And it usually comes in in the winter time, right? Right. As I'm, you know, right now. And what will happen is that thick air will just, that smoggy air will kind of get just trapped in there until it ends up blowing out. And usually it can be a couple of days for people with asthma or with respiratory issues, that can be a factor. So just know that going into it, we've got, you know, windy. We've also got four seasons, which again, for some, they're like, bring it on. I love that. And then you also have that possible inversion that can stick around for a little while and then blows right out. Number four, moving right along traffic. Now I know a lot of people that live here that have lived here for years. They're like, Oh, the traffic is terrible. For me personally, coming from California, I look at the traffic and I'm like, I cannot even believe I can get everywhere in minutes, right? So for many people, they feel like the traffic has just gotten a little bit out of hand just because a lot of people have moved here. Other people like myself, I feel like 
the traffic is a non-issue, but also something that you should know. Moving right along to the next one, a lot of people, Utah has experienced a ton of growth. Yes, a ton of growth. There is so much new, new home construction. There are a lot of people that are relocating here to Utah. So there are many people who are like, oh, you know what? It just feel, it used to feel like I was, you know, in this small town, but now it's not feeling that way to many people that have resided here for years and years and years. They're like, oh, the small town charm. It, you know, it doesn't exist anymore. For me personally, it still feels very small town and it also does feel like, you know, there's still a lot of really cool opportunities and the growth does not feel, you know, out of hand for me personally. For some, it certainly does. I was actually chatting with somebody who born and raised here and they were like, we can't wait to move down to, you know, a remote part of Utah where nobody's there because they're like, I, you know, we just feel like the Salt Lake area has gotten so, you know, so populated. Moving right on to number five, speaking of population, this has to go along with housing. Yes, the housing market here in Utah, especially in Salt Lake City, prices just continue to increase year after year after year. This past year, we saw a over just a little over a 6% increase in the value of homes. What does this mean for you, for me, right? If you're thinking about purchasing a home here in Utah, be, you know, no longer are we seeing, you know, five years, 10 years ago, the prices that used to be here in Utah. Housing prices here in Utah have continued to creep up over the years. So in terms of affordability, that may be an advantage for you. It may be a disadvantage depending on where you're coming from. Right now, the average, the median sale price for a single family home in the Salt Lake City, Utah area is right around $540,000. So $540,000. And again, some are a lot higher, some are lower, but that gives you a snapshot. Number six, if you are into an active lifestyle, Utah's probably gonna be an awesome place for you. If you do, you know, if you're not into an active lifestyle, you may feel a little bit out of sorts, depending because there are so many people here that love hiking, biking, skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, snowmobiling, like it's just a very active place. So. I know when we moved here, we had neighbors that are like, hey, you ready to go for a hike? Do you want to go for a bike ride? Oh, do you want to go? Like people are just constantly, you know, inviting and wanting to do things outdoors or even indoors. There is a huge, like lots of different facilities indoors, pickleball and tennis and swimming and these incredible rec centers. So if you live a really active lifestyle or enjoy doing that, Utah could be an awesome fit for you. If you're not really into that, just be aware of that because there's probably a lot of people that will be around you that may be inviting you to different things like that. Number seven is the high elevation change. Yes, the high elevation change that you will experience coming to Salt Lake if you are, for example, somewhere at sea level, right? If you're somewhere on the West Coast or the East Coast, right? If you are um, coming to Utah and it's at a higher elevation, I know we've had friends here that have come and they're like, oh, you know, I've got a headache or you know, nosebleeds or different things like that, simply because their body is acclimating and adjusting to a climate change. So just know that sometimes that elevation change can affect, you know, can affect you, but it may not as well, but just be aware of that. Number eight are the professional sports teams or the lack of. So I know here in Salt Lake City, we do have the Utah Jazz professional basketball team. We do have the Real Salt Lake, which is a professional soccer team. If you are looking for football or, you know, baseball, we do not have a professional, you know, pro professional teams for that. And I know sometimes I actually had a client that was looking at relocating here from Texas and he's like, what? No football, no baseball, like no professional sports. Here in Utah, there are a lot of college sports and a lot to do with, you know, coming out and supporting those college sports. But if you are looking for professional baseball and football, we do not have that yet. Moving right along to our last two topics, and these are topics I don't usually address very much, but we're going to talk about both of them, and that is politics and religion. Yes, politics and religion. So politics. Utah tends to lean more toward the conservative landscape. If that aligns with you, great. If it doesn't, great. But just be aware that ten, you know, usually it tends to lean more conservative. Also, with that being said, religion. There are lots of different religions here in Utah. There are lots of different churches, but you will tend to see the primary religion here in Utah is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
So just know that yes, lots of different political views and also lots of different religious beliefs, but just know those are both things that you should be aware of if you are thinking about moving here to Utah. So hopefully this gives you a good understanding of you after hearing all these things, maybe none of these are deal breakers. Maybe you hear all of these and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, a couple windy days, doesn't matter. I love the four seasons. Oh, you know, I like living an active lifestyle. The housing market, great, I'm fine with that. Um, the political landscape or even the religious beliefs, maybe none of those things sway you one way or another, or maybe you're going, yes, yes, yes. All of these sound like the perfect fit for me. So this gives you a little snapshot of things to think about. If you are thinking about making a move, you are thinking about relocating, buying or selling a property here in Utah. Again, if you are, comment down below if you want a copy of our free Moving to Salt Lake City, Utah guide, and I would be happy to send that guide over to you. And again, if you're thinking about making a move in a week and a month or even a year from now, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. My team and I hear from people like you all the time, and we absolutely love it. Wishing you a fantastic rest of your day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.